everyone today i am going to explain you all how the netflix sureka server works internally and also how the zoo proxy server communicates with the discovery server nowadays everyone is moving to the cloud platform when you moving to the cloud platform you can run your services as a containers so when you running your services as a containers you can't predict your ip addresses all the ip addresses are dynamic ips so in this case the netflix sureka server helps you to forward your request to the respective service now let me show you how the netflix sureka server works internally and also how the zool proxy server communicates with the netflix sureka server come let me show you so here the service registry discovery service it will call as a eureka server the port number is 8761 whoever is running the spring boot application so they will know the service registry i mean the discovery service running on the default port 8761 next assume there is a eureka client also you are running the eureka client service name is called user service okay now there are two instances of user service is running those two services i mean those two instances should register with the eureka server and also see here the user service i mean the two instances are running in dynamic ip address and also registered with the eureka server next the product service it is also another one eureka client service and then this service also running more than one instance and registered with the eureka server and these services are running in dynamic ip addresses now this is the time to entry of zool proxy server i mean the edge server the edge server will communicate with the the service registry i mean the netflix eureka server so whenever the request is coming from the client the request will come to the zool proxy server and then the zool proxy server should be running in public ip address and then the port number should be 443 okay now assume there is a request is coming from the client to access the user service or product service now how the zool proxy server communicates with the service registry so whenever the request is coming from the client the zool proxy server will send a request to the service register get the ip addresses of the user services okay so the service registry will return the list of available ip addresses of user service what are the instances of user service registered in the eureka server those service ip addresses it will return to the zool proxy server and then the zool proxy server will do the load balancing and then it will send the request to the respective user service and then it will get the response from the user service and then it will serve the response to the client the same thing whenever the request is coming to product service to uh, from the client so the again the zool proxy server will communicate with the service registry and then the service registry will return the list of available ip addresses of product service and then the zool proxy server will do the load balancing and then it will send the request to the product service and then the product service will response to send the response to the zool proxy server and then zool proxy server will send the response to the client so this is the overall functionality happening between the service registry and zool proxy server between the user services so in this case the user service product service and zool proxy server so these three services should be registered with the eureka server and then only one port i mean the 443 port i mean the zool proxy server the this service only the public ip address so that the client can access the zool proxy server to get the i mean to access the other services such as user service and product service okay so thank you very much please do subscribe my youtube channel like my videos and share my videos thank you very much